Welcome to Blurred You Heard, the network. It's your boy, PB3G. Yo! We have the Wakanda Forever official reactions. Now, they had the world premiere the other day, and it seems like a lot of positive reviews, gang. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to read off some of these reviews and tell you what I think at the end. Let's get into it. Okay, so one user, one Twitter user that saw Wakanda Forever said... Wakanda Forever is outstanding. It handles loss, grief, and revenge with a maturity and seriousness rarely seen in MCU. Black Panther continues to be their crown jewel. Letitia Wright, Angela Bassett, and Tanakh Huerta all bring some of the best acting I've seen all year. Now, this I, I like this review because the seriousness part of it. When they said it's more serious, we've been getting a lot of jokey, jokey Marvel movies more often than not in a in the in the past few years. So it's nice to see that we're getting a more serious tone Marvel movie. Like a lot of fans have been missing that, myself included. I don't mind the jokes, but it's like, come on. So let's go on to another Twitter user that said, Wakanda Forever is excellent. And an, an immensely powerful story of forging forward shatter for forging forward, shattering at times, but also beautifully ca cathartic and heartening cannot get over how well the film earns that title high praise high praise another user said wakanda forever is marvel's most poignant and powerful film to date it's heavy and dark in the way that it needed to be and mostly abandons the studio's trademark tone the craft work levels up in every conceivable way and the performances rise to the occasion. So here goes another Twitter user saying that the old Marvel imprint isn't on this film. And that, and by that, again, I mean the jokey jokey and uh, the 90 percent comedy and stuff like that. This is going to be, uh, you know, I don't know how serious, but it's going to be serious. They go on to say. <coughs> Excuse me, got a cold, sorry. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Visual stunner with Angela Bassett commanding every scene she inhabits. Rihanna's Lift Me Up will do that for many. Another great post credit scene that gen genuinely a jaw dropper. Don't know about Oscars. You know, so that's just like some of the reviews on Wakanda Forever. They're pretty positive. I haven't seen too many negative. I wish I could have found some before I made this video, but I haven't seen too many negative reviews on this film. I've said this before that Ryan Coogler is an amazing director. There's no doubt in my mind that this movie will be good or on some level of good to great. It just sucks that we have no T'Challa. Recast T'Challa, save T'Challa, man. But... Like like I've said in many Black Panther videos before. I mean, you can go on my end on my channel and pick any video. You know, I'm 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 going into this with an open mind. I know that T'Challa is not going to be in this movie, and I know that I feel like he shouldn't be. I, sh I he should be in the sequel, the third movie, but or come back to the MCU in general. But I'm not mad at him not appearing in this film for a lot of reasons. You guys tell me what you think about these reactions in the comment section below. Are you still going to go see Wakanda Forever? Are you excited for Wakanda Forever? Where do you stand on the recast T'Challa movement? Let me know in the comment section below. It's your boy PB3G. I holla, gang.